Okay guys, so a quick video that I wanted to share with you today is about MSI Afterburner because there are certain people out there that don't realize that MSI Afterburner have changed significantly and have made lots of changes to the software, especially when it comes to the memory overclock. So here basically on the MSI Afterburner website, you can also see that the graphical layout for the application has changed as well. Now I wasn't aware of this up until recently because I was using other overclocking software, like for example, the Palette Thundermaster software and EVGA Precision X. But now I've realized that MSI Afterburner have actually made some very, very big improvements here. So after I downloaded Afterburner, so you can just go to their website and just download Afterburner. I'll put a link in the description down below to this as well, if you don't have it already. I'm gonna open up my mining rig here. And here you can see that I've got MSI Afterburner running. And one of the biggest things that really drew me back into using MSI Afterburner, and this was the reason why I had switched from MSI Afterburner in the first place, was that the memory overclock before couldn't go higher than 1,500 megahertz. Why would I need to overclock my video card more than 1,500 megahertz? In fact, I actually did because I'm doing that on my RTX 3080 Palette Game Rock Overclock Edition. I'm overclocking that to plus 1740 on the memory clock here. And as a result of that, here you can see that my RTX 3080, the Palette Game Rock Overclock Edition, is getting 105 mega hash per second. And it's doing that at 190 to watts according to Phoenix Miner, okay? So here I am using Phoenix Miner version 5.6D and I'm getting 105 mega hash per second by using these overclock settings. So minus 80 on the core, plus 1740 on the memory. I've got a video on the overclock settings in more detail. You can check that out in the link above or in the description below as well. But I just wanted to share this with you because many people might still have the idea that MSI Afterburner is still locked on the memory clock up to 1,500 and back then it couldn't go higher, but now it can. And I also really like the graphical interface here, how it kind of revs up and shows you a nice clean representation of how much you're actually overclocking. So you can see here that I'm really flooring the memory overclock here, but it's at a nice cool 53 degrees. It's running well. It's been running like this at 104 to 105 mega hash, even with other overclocking tools for around eight to nine months now, because I had actually purchased the RTX 3080 Palette uh, Game Rock Overclock Edition back in February, and it's been stable and simply fabulous. That's one of the best RTX 3080 cards you can get for mining. 105 mega hash at 192 watts. Here you can see that in Phoenix Miner. At the wall, it is like that as well. It's maybe closer to 200, but it doesn't go higher than that. So for this entire system, I'm getting 900 watts at the wall. And here it's saying that I'm getting 685, but obviously this is just calculating the GPUs. So obviously I've got fans on the rig. I've got the main board as well. The main gist of this video was just to share this bit of information with you that MSI Afterburner have updated their software quite significantly. I myself did not realize that until this week. So I thought I would share that information with you for those that did not know. Guys and girls, thank you for watching this video. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, destroy that subscribe button down below, smash that like, and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves, and thanks for watching.